Hi, my name is Chris Parisi, and I'm the owner of Restless Natives Nursery in Tarpon Springs, Florida. And I'm proud to be a Bee Floridian partner because I believe that Floridians should spend less time working in the yard and more time having fun. In my nursery, I raise native Florida milkweeds. These milkweeds are very important because they provide the only food source for the caterpillar of the monarch butterfly. Most people that like to attract monarch butterflies in their garden are familiar with the Mexican milkweed, which is readily available at most garden centers. However, I raise seven species of native milkweed because I believe that it is the right plant for the right place. Although we do have a resident population of monarch butterflies that stay year-round in Florida, there are a great deal of them that do migrate to Mexico every winter. With native milkweeds, the food supply, when it's time to migrate, disappears, thus encouraging the butterflies to go to their wintering grounds. For a sunny spot in your garden, this is called butterfly milkweed. It's an annual plant that dies back in the winter and comes back every spring so that ample food supply will be available for your monarch butterflies. It grows two to three feet tall, provides lots of food, and has beautiful orange flowers to attract butterflies for nectaring. This milkweed is called swamp milkweed or white milkweed. If you've got shady, moist areas in your yard, this milkweed is perfect for that location. It provides white flowers for butterfly nectaring and the monarch caterpillars love to eat the leaves. This is another species of milkweed for sunny or sandy areas. It's called the longleaf milkweed. It grows in sandy soil, provides white flowers for butterfly nectaring and caterpillar food with the long leaves. Here's a group of seeds for butterfly milkweed or tuberosa. They come out of a pod every spring on the milkweed plant and they float around on little parachutes of silk and land in sandy soil areas. You can take seeds like these and plant them in a sunny sandy area Lightly water them and inside of 30 to 45 days you'll have small milkweed sprouting from the ground. Some gardeners prefer to use a cell tray. If you use a cell tray with your seeds, all they require is minimum moisture and no fertilizer. Within 30 to 45 days the tuberosa will sprout and you'll have seedlings about this size. After about four months, your tuberosa will look like this, and it'll be ready to be planted in the yard. Find a spot with lots of sun and sandy soil. Once established, this plant will come back year after year and provide food for your butterflies and flowers for nectaring insects. If plants aren't available and you'd like to try your luck at seeds, growing them in the garden can be fun and rewarding. Just be sure to use local ecotype seeds and Florida native seeds available at Florida Native Nurseries and the Florida Wildflower Co-op. 